Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people, Minecrafters, Dremel, people, <laughs> Dictator Shadow here, the new map update, V2.2, Apotheosis, for Dremel Primordial. The teaser trailer just released, I am going to react to it, break it down, and show things that I'm excited for because I have a lot of love for this map. The guys have been putting a lot of work in behind the scenes, and I'm excited to see what they're going to show us today, so let's jump right into it. All right, here we got Spawn, and that's the logo. Okay, new building, Temporal Ruins. Okay, that's new. That's new. The desert. Okay. I'm waiting for the big stuff. Oh, you can see people's health now. New dungeon, it looks like. Oh, that- oh, whoa. Two new legend- three new legendaries. Mel Valencia has a 3D mo- what was that? Okay, Mel Valencia can shoot fire tridents. Looks like the weapons have 3D models now. Oh yeah, there's the sword that turns into a shotgun. You also like some weird new ruin. A lot of new buildings. Hold on, hold on, whoa. That's steampunk. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta see... That looks like it is in the Black Jungle for Tide build style. Is that the new Kiln of Virtuo? Look at how grand and massive that is. That's amazing. Hold on. Okay. Mail's Desolation is looking a little bit more steampunky. That's menacing. Whoa. The Burnt Palace got a rework. Dang. Whoa, it's huge! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the new map. Arriving in winter. Ah, boo. Followers of Virtual all strive to undergo ascension to become Verbari, but only a select few were chosen each year. A group of fanatics tried to find alternate ways, but only ended in bad things. Rotten Core. This helmet gives the wearer lingering poison and hunger effects. Why? <laughs> Why would you want that? Okay, so it gives you poison and hunger but it gives you a bunch of buffs. That's pretty weird. Oh wait, it gives you speed? Okay, best item in the game. Whisper Song. The Order of Insom was known for their diplomatic prowess. Despite this, the council members and politicians of the Order had many enemies, cause protection. This bow was the weapon of the most elite of the guards, the Whispers. Okay, so it has power seven, but it nerfs you. Mage Step. Feather Falling, Unbreaking. Kive's only disciple. I think Hive is one of the gods, I don't remember which one, or the deities. Given all, it died in a battle against the Shade of Death. The mystic elder felt guilt for his passing and buried Yuval's most cherished possession with him. Archangel, Archang, Arch, Archangel's leap. Wearing these leggings grant the user increased jump height. Ooh, I wonder how much jump height. And it gives more speed, so it's automatically the best legs in the game. The infernal ground. Hold crouch and then press your drop key to throw a trident that provides a healing aura. That doesn't seem very... Mal Valencia, because <laughs> you know, Malice is the god of evil and <laughs> it provides healing. Interesting though, very strong, very tanky. So it is a trident now. No, it isn't a trident, it's a sword, but you can throw tridents with it. So that means they got rid of the Burnt Aegis ability, which was just a shield. Interesting. That's a hidden thing right there. If you guys look closely, that's Emperor Rhaenyra's scepter, but he has a shield that looks like the scepter. So it looks like there will be a special shield somewhere in the desert. Whole lot of detailed work was put into that. Look at those walls. That is intricate. Oh, I want to build a base there. You got an airship, got some sort of factory looking thing off to the right. That is very intricate. Very interesting. Big ruined bridge near... I uh, don't know where this would be, actually. I think that's in South Tharzax, judging by those cliffs and these trees. Can't really tell what that's supposed to be. It looks like a bell. Hey, speaking of bells, do you see that bell down below? You know what to do. Go ring it, subscribe, ring the bell. The Burnt Palace, though. Oh, man. It looks so wicked that they couldn't even render in the back in the render distance. It has its own mini airship now. Oh, man, it's huge. I think, like, the old Burnt Palace, the highest point was probably, like, there. Like, it is double or triple the size now, and it looks really intricate and cool. More staircases, one goes out into the lava, and of course that extra tall tower, I'm excited to see what's up there. Yeah, look, that armor is definitely a different texture. What weapon was he using? Okay, he's Masayoshi, and some sort of triple-edged thing. 
I can't tell what that is. Definitely a new item, though. Interesting. I can't tell what that is. It looks like a crystal on a stick. This is where you find pure corruption. So this dungeon must be somewhere near Fertide. Oh, that's the Insom flag. That's a big tree, so this is in Spearhead Forest. I think Mage Step. Uh, can't really tell. Maybe it's in the Heartwood. Okay, Malvalentia looks like it is on top of the tallest tower in the Burnt Palace now. It used to be underground, guarded by the Burnt General. That's all the interesting stuff I could find or break down. Be sure to subscribe, and I will be making videos about 2.2 in the winter, so subscribe and do not miss those.